All right, here we go. This is a ranked 3v3 on Bale between the blue team in the bottom left-hand corner, the Killer Bee in the Nexus Saucer, Average in the Steampunk Osprey, and Dagger88 in the Gothic Warthog, and their opponents, the Orange Carbon team in the upper right-hand corner, Total Sunday in the Frontline Warthog, Randomazian 999 in the Steampunk Helix, and Giot in the, in the uh, Shark Neo. That is the Shark Neo. Uh, taking a quick look at the loadouts, we do have a leveler uh, build going on on the uh, on the carbon team uh, we do have two levelers down no other pre-built levelers on the field quite yet um, and in the bottom team, on the bottom right hand team, the blue team, uh, a couple of T45s setting down. Oh, there's, so this one's a T99 in the corner um, initially, and we do have uh, the, uh, yeah, they are splitting very nicely, except that no one is going to immediately to protect the mid. So a cheese would have been, an immediate cheese in the mid would have worked pretty well here by the carbon team, but we do have an attack immediately by the blue team, who I would like to mention has uh, kind of a nut repeated loadout. Every single player on the blue team does have zippers, they all have glides, and they all have dillos. Um, you know, in, in uh, this today's 3v3 meta you kind of are used to seeing um, more of a, a mixed uh, you know balanced loadout and if total sunday do ca does catch dagger on the way to that top outpost uh the dagger is landing trying to get it neutralized with some zippers but uh right in front of total sunday total sunday will be able to get this finish off on dagger as he lifts off and we do see again average this blue team going for this right uh, out this right carbon outpost and average really low on health but does fly away just in time killer b in that saucer we do have a saucer and uh on one team and a neo on the other so we do have speed max on both sides um we do have hogs on both sides so we do have carry max on both sides the osprey on the um on in the blue team and the uh and the, ch and the helix for the carbon team and they are does look like they are going to go for this bottom right hand corner first killer b coming with another dillo but we do see random and uh and total sunday go coming as well but total sunday the only one here random does come back to respond to a quick attack over here at this at this outpost killer b now trying to attack uh total sunday on the ground with a saucer with a saucer ground fighter fire on a warthog but not really going to get too far with that and we do have all three of the carbon mechs here in the bottom right hand corner and really quick average going with a front door drop and uh will go for the the damage instead of trying to kill off a socket unit um but now trying to go no goes for the dillo instead should probably reposition this one dillo or just concentrate on that front door that one blocking dillo does go down in the proper blocking position but now G uh, okay that one okay the blue dillo has been killed and average will try to retreat here but getting followed by random in that helix uh, but random is definitely not going to be able to catch up to him in the meantime total sunday has been able to clear the back part of these this bottom right hand corner but really low on health is forced to fly away and this is kind of the, the typical uh you know setup here you would see here on veil vale, this this you know each outpost since they that's really really far post to post it's really really easy to get nice defenses down uh without the opponent really ha harassing you that hard um average going down there two random azn's uh rockets and dagger going down to enemy units as well so now carbon team has been able to grab this bottom left right hand corner and the blue team starting to work on that top right hand corner their top left hand corner um, and the carbon team way ahead is going to be able to secure this average. Let's see what he is going for. Another Dillo going, I would assume, again for the front door. In the meantime, Killer B. Killer B in that saucer on Veil. Going to be extremely effective. Average, I guess. I'm not sure why he dropped it all the way over here. Maybe to kill that lunchbox, but I would have went straight for the front door attack. Uh, Jot forced to pick it up. I'm not really sure if he was forced to pick it up, but he decided to pick it up anyway. Now going for the double-pronged attack, but Random is here with that helix, and Average won't last very much longer over here. In the meantime, Blue has been able to grab this upper right-hand corner average gonna be chased down very low on health but uh is he gonna get finished off oh so little health left but no one is going to continue the further pursuit and does get back to that middle outpost before he gets killed and now Giot total send a reinforcing this corner and uh let's see if random azn is actually able to kill a dillo here and snipe one out of blue team's uh right under blue team's nose uh, and random not gonna be able to be finished off by uh by dagger as total sunday is here to support him this top left hand outpost has been neutralized and in the meantime average trying to kill a money maker i don't know if he brought bombs or anything with him to be able to get that finished off but not able to actually get it killed average getting chased down and killed by total sunday before he gets away <laughs> and uh yeah not able to succeed successfully do that weird harass there with no units to support him in an Osprey just trying to kill some stuff on the ground but blue team having a really hard time holding this corner here uh, killer B with not much in his load just defensive probes let's see if dagger has anything 
no, doesn't have, just has a single deal there, desperately trying to take that outpost and keep it under the control. And in the meantime, I guess there was a, um, that Neo Stasis, I did see that Stasis effect by Giad over there at the top. But it's going to be hard to penetrate this, this outpost from, uh, from this corner. There is no real direct route except for uh, all the way around here. And, uh, you know, at that point, the orange team might as well just go, go straight from this outpost as well, especially because Vale only has four points per weight per out. Four waypoints per outpost, tongue twister, not really. But uh, yeah, it's it's really hard to do T-pushes on Veil just because of the lack of waypoints. Um, it is kind of a common practice nowadays to just send four and link, uh, but it does get a little bit complicated, especially trying to keep track of what's linked to what, and especially because once the lead thing dies, the other ones do get quite confused. Um, but right now we do have just scouting around, average looking around. Uh, each of these, each of these teams has a pretty good hold on the outpost that they have, except for this top left corner. But the lack of scouting from the carbon team has resulted in blue team easily able to keep this. Um, and Killer B trying to do some abduct harass here. Um, dagger flying by with him, gonna get this one Dillo, not gonna lift it up. Okay, does grab it instead of uh, trying to abduct another Dillo. I probably would have lifted it up and tried to abduct another Dillo right after because there's pretty much no orange presence up there in that upper left. Left hand corner killer B not continuing to abduct just gonna fly around but you know with this huge map and with every single um, <laughs> with every single orange mech in that bottom right hand corner he really could have kept doing it but now they have come back to respond and so killer B's opportunity window of opportunity has pretty much closed dagger trying to kill total Sunday but very low on health uh, does get away though oh oh no okay barely barely gets away before Jihad is actually able to get that kill uh, that one random stray unit there uh, but now this I guess the outpost fight has shifted to this top left corner I guess it's kind of the least defended blue outpost I'm not really sure if they really uh, scouted it very well and I'll be, honestly the mids are not really defended either uh, with you know proper scouting they might be able to actually notice this killer be gonna be able to get this long if no, no one comes back total send does no does swoop it up in time before uh, a killer bee is able to actually get that abducted and Dagger just kind of randomly shooting here and there. Nobody really scouting uh, to, you know, not necessarily they're not scouting, but the, the, the scouting is not really getting them anywhere. They really need to decide on something, uh, you know, really, really know what is where. Oh, and Random getting kill on Dagger off screen there, but Random was actually on screen. Focus there. But yeah, they, they really, really need to kind of look around, decide where they, where they can hit and start uh, committing units the, the however in this you know still the meta right now is still kind of turtly it, especially on Vale where it's a little bit dangerous to push an average getting finished off in the air there by random AZ, AZN getting that final kill that final hit but yeah the, the the meta right now is just really really hard to push especially on on uh, on a map such as Vale where the post to post distance is so far it's really really easy to scout however we don't really have too many um, you know units set in um, you know map uh, map detection positions I guess you could say um, you know like wards are uh, in other MOBAs where they can get gain map vision and uh, Giada actually oh no Dagger actually able to neutralize this outpost a couple of zippers dropped there by uh, that blue team but now Random was able to clean it up Average might be able to get this generator but no a Random is able to grab it in time and getting chased down by Random gonna get finished off there in the air in the meantime we do have Dagger with a Dillo on the back of the mid here but it's not really gonna load oh, it last kind of a long time there's only a, j a Jackal firing at it um, <laughs> Giot come forced to come over here and attack it and Killer B just grabbing Gemini's neutral Gemini's it's free units so why might as well try and you can use them you know collectively in a in a push so Total Sunday and Giot now trying to finish off what they can before that saucer is able to get more free units and Killer B just doing the same thing um, with more Gemini's there at the mid has four probes in queue don't know if he's gonna try to use them to draw fire or something like that but there's definitely not an outpost to grab right now um, and Total Sunday trying to kill what he can again. There is, you know, that's pretty much what you do. You need to kill whatever units you can randomly drop in and kill. War Dogs very, very good at that, obviously. Um, but yeah, especially on on a map like Vale, where every outpost is pretty much uh, is pretty much covered. There's not really a much pushing potential or dropping potential at much outposts, except for maybe to get some socket kills. And Dagger barely getting back to that mid before getting finished off by that double team chasing him down there. So yeah, there, I mean, at this point, you can, can you can pretty much just pick, pick, pick at, at the rest of your enemy units, trying to kill one unit here, one unit there, and doing a little bit of harass, but not getting finished off there before he gets back to that outpost. 
Uh, and once again, a little bit of scouting off Total Sunday. Just, you know, fly by and see, oh my god, there's a lot of Dillos there. Uh, you know, flying by here, flying by here, you know, there's not too much coverage, but the push potential uh, to this outpost is very, very low, especially because they have such good, you know, it's it's kind of in the middle. Uh, if, if, if Orange was wanting to push anywhere, they might kind of want to push there to the corner, just because it might be hard to actually detect the push. And now Total Sunday trying to kill whatever neutrals he can, just to deny that uh, duck from um, from uh, Killer B. And we do have a Dilla push coming out here. I'm assuming these are all set on T, but they will split off here, right about here at the middle. Yes, I don't think they are really, um, they are really linked. Uh, I think a couple of these Dillos are linked, but it's definitely not going to be enough, especially with all of these orange players here in the, you know, to, just to defend. All the blue Dillos do get killed. There are a couple of dead orange units as well. However, it's just not good. I, this is just not good news for this blue team. All of them do get killed. We do have a complete team wipe, uh, brief team wipe. This now average has respawned, but all three of the blue team players were killed. And then we do have a counter push out. Let's see if they do it right with a, with, you know, four push and links. Um, no, I doubt it. I'm pretty sure they are going to start to split off here. Um, no, they are actually going forward. So I'm not really sure if those were all linked, but they are going to this outpost. <laughs> and uh, once again, too many blue units over here. All three blue mechs are here to respond to this attack. No distractions set down by that carbon team, so every single one of their pushing units are going to be killed. And we do have a couple of blue Dillos sent over here, but once again, Jod was able to, oh no, Killer B was able to fly over them and recognize that they are coming. No AA coming, then Total Sunday barely grabbing that Dillo before Killer B is able to finish off that abduct. And a couple of uh, a couple of the Dillos that were pushed were dropped here at the back, but blocked very very quickly by this blue team. And now the rest of the Dillos are coming, but with two mechs in the area to defend, while Dagger is doing a little bit of harass on that on that bottom corner. Uh, that this push is just not going to be that, that successful at all. Very very little health taking down Jia, just hero neoing. I don't think I've ever said that before, but you know just just fi uh, firing at that fort with that neo will be able to get away if aver okay average okay because Jia has run out of energy. Oh god, getting finished off here. Oh yes, getting finished off by Dagger on the ground there. Dagger with one point in the in the air to ground, which is what I really love to see from Hog players. A single point in, in the air to ground can make uh, you know a decisive. Like, uh, you know, decisive, uh, um, you know, turning point uh, kind of things uh, d during certain exchanges. And they could really, really get you ahead just by, you know, just by getting that final kill, able to get, able to get that uh, th that mech finished off on the ground. But we do have a Dillo push to this, uh, this I'm not really sure what to call this, but the, but, the, but the blue power station, the blue close power station, not the factory, the power station. Oh, the aura, the carbon, I'm sorry, the carbon one, and Blue able to grab this power station, so now Blue definitely ahead. I don't know if they're going to be able to actually keep this under the control. Only two bulbs up. I don't see any defensive, you know, okay, oh, we do see defensive probes going down by Killer B, so, oh, but it, they do get it neutralized. It's still really well surrounded by Blue units, so let's see if Carbon is able to actually push something. No, there's pretty much no push path, except for here. It's, I mean, it's a really long path, though. It's got to go all the way over here and all the way up here. Blue is able to actually grab this outpost. Now, really well defended, uh, or, I I mean, uh, uh, pretty much already was well defended, but now they do have it under the control. Uh, we do have more Dillos coming out, so let's see if uh, Carbon's actually able to grab this back. Jot trying to fire in, kill we can with that stasis. Really, really effective against those uh, front units, but it's a little bit early. I don't know. Uh, oh, and these Dillos are splitting off. Once again, only four waypoints per outpost on Veil. Really, really not uh, ideal. But uh, that's how it is right now. That's this. So this this push has definitely been thwarted, and a lot of these, uh, you know, the the random dillos that were split off would be are pretty much killed by those uh, by those other blue defending units as well. Uh, this uh, outpost has gone down neutral, but I don't see Carbon able to actually grab this back. No def no infantry coming from any of the players on the Carbon team to uh, actually grab this this outpost back. Um, however, they have been able to clear a fair amount of units. Jot firing in with his uh, with his primary fire and with his stasis, able to get away before he gets killed. Um, and uh, yeah, now t actually two blue players were killed in the process. Um, and it's it's okay. So, but average is coming back with infantry. Not really enough. I mean. Carbon's now just dropping, 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 but I guess pretty much what they had to do is that, you know, kind of what I said previously, uh, send with with a four and link to the to those four, and I, I guess that splitting Dillo, I mean, yeah, the, that splitting Dillo push really, really hurt them. Not, not, not necessarily that it would have worked to begin with, but it would have had much more potential to actually kill more units, neutralize that outpost much more effectively and quickly. And uh, right now, it's still under contest. Orange is still really, really trying to come back here. Four Dillos coming up. Um, and uh, I guess there is a couple more by random coming. Uh, no, I don't think he has any in his build queue right now. 
and forced to run away, getting back to that center outpost. Oh, the center on Vale are power stations. So I guess this is the mid power station, and this is the, I don't know, close power station. The naming conventions are not really that uh, <laughs> established yet when it comes to Vale, and uh, more scouts going down by that blue team. And so, yeah, it's a little bit stale right now after Blue is able to grab that bottom outpost. Total Sunday just going straight for the damage. Um, it is a little bit late. We are definitely way past that halftime heal. And uh, three, uh, Longhorn actually getting dropped. I'm not sure who brought those over, but I guess it was random because he he was killed. And in the meantime, they will be cleaned up, but it was you know blocked pretty quickly. They did get a little bit of damage, and it used pretty good damage. And a single Dillo firing over here with no defense on this other side. Jia dropping a Longhorn to actually cover that. But definitely, blue team is ahead with this power station under their control right now. And let's see what Killer B is deciding to do. Abduct Harass is just extremely powerful on Vale, especially with Blink. You can get from place to place to place extremely quickly. And uh, right now, we do have an attack down here. Uh, Abduct plus some creeps. Dagger uh, coming with some creeps. Going to be able to finish off that ge that Gemini. And Killer B bringing back that that um, <laughs> that generator and socketing it. Actually socketing the generator that he stole. Dagger going to get finished off on the ground here, but not at, before he does a little bit of damage. He did get a couple units killed, I think, more than that generator, but um, or not that that generator that Gemini once again uh, blue with this outpost under the control still way way ahead uh, I know it's only one outpost difference but it's it really really does make all the difference in on you know in in air mech one outpost could mean the the difference between uh, you know raffle stomp and um, I mean obviously it'll it'll if it's only a one outpost advantage it'll be something like an overtime win but you know it's it, it'll be a clear decisive victory especially if you have that map control uh dagger getting killed on the ground by those enemy units and this uh outpost drop has been pretty much shut down by this carbon team um i don't know if they're gonna be able to hold this for now because killer b firing okay defensive probes going down from i think that was who has the probes in their load out there on that carbon team that was giot getting finished off there by that cre incoming creep but most of the damage coming from killer bees death ray and right now average getting killed on the ground as well by random azn so this center mid outpost um has uh, attack has been shut down again dagger with some creeps to draw the enemy fire not going with uh, attacking the dillos from behind uh, and does leave before anything gets actually killed so that was kind of a uh, a, a, a moot attack right there and Killer B getting back there before he gets chased down by Giot. So I don't know what either what any players can do right now. I mean, they do have to scout. I mean, this outpost is definitely this is the weakest outpost on the map if you take a look. So I would really, really like to see Carbon Team scout a little bit. Notice that that is really, 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 really undefended, and maybe do a coordinated drop to grab that outpost and uh, you know have enough in queue to actually secure it after they actually take it. Um, being the mid-center outpost on the on their opponent's side, it's just going to be really, really effective to actually, uh, you know, and actually <laughs> uh, getting this map control. And uh, it'll be much more effective than this outpost that doesn't have a direct line to any other outpost on their uh, on the opponent's map, on the opponent's side. And a lot of dogfighting going down. Uh, no one getting killed actually. Oh, except for Dagger getting killed there a little bit off map. Uh, the uh, <laughs> the spectate follow unless I do ma ma mouse click drag is not actually fast enough to uh, to keep up. And average dropping this Goliath after uh, and getting killed right after, uh, but being blo body blocked by that carbon team extremely you know quickly just pretty much moved. Oh god! And and Killer B trying to steal the Goliath just takes way too long. And uh, I if I were him, I guess I would have probably just went for things that I know I could have uh, instantly converted like that Dillo right there was definitely take uh, you know abductable um, and we do have total Sunday finishing off a uh, <laughs> this is a radar um, a radar uh, unit right there uh, just placed uh, uh, behind a tree very very well to uh, to hide it in total Sunday getting that air to ground finishing off dagger there on the ground and we do have Jihad trying to deal with this uh, this tank drop right here it's tanks and ratchets um, oh I think that might have been some abducted units from killer B and so let's take a look what's going on on this map. Killer B going. Oh, he's starting to uh, death ray. I don't know. Maybe he wanted to uh, to do some abduct there as well. You know, I'm gonna say it again. Abduct on Vale, really, really good, especially because of Blink. You can get from place to place to place, and just wherever the opponent is not, you can be at. You can be at. Okay, yeah. So <laughs> yeah, you can be at. So that you just just go from place to place. Abduct whatever you can. Dagger getting finished up with creeps in his 
in his in his cargo. It's really really not valuable to die with, you know, to try to save. Um, obviously was over some trees, couldn't really ditch them, but uh, it, you know, it, it's just something that. Oh, and to Killer B actually able to grab this Goliath and uh, will be able to blink away. Let's see if he can come back and actually take it. Jiot trying to kill it from behind, and oh, and Killer B not coming back to get that Goliath. Uh, does not swoop it in time before uh, Jihad is able to kill it on the ground. An average getting followed, but not enough. And uh, let's... Okay, Jihad trying to kill what he can. I don't know if he came in with bombs or not, but definitely was not enough to actually get that kill. And once again, more scouting by average. Killer B, oh, did he grab this Goliath? I think he actually was able to abduct this Goliath. Now taking it to the front door. Does level up, so he can go back for it. Uh, no, he doesn't grab it in time. Oh, wait, where did that go? Oh, average picked it up. Average picked it up and was able to drop it at the back. Wow, client, can you keep up with the action or what? Um, we do have Giada and Total Sunday here. I don't know if they actually were able to block that. Oh, that Dillo, I think, was there for blocking. And right now, Dagger going around and trying to see what he can. Once again, on Veil, just really, really hard to, uh, you know, to, to not necessarily hard to scout, but it takes a lot more of, uh, you know, kind of player attention and resources, player time to, to scout the map. However, the, the, the rewards that you reap from scouting on Veil are actually pretty darn good. And Dagger trying to finish up the safe box, but Total Sunday is going to be able to get him. Oh, no, 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 not quite yet. Uh, regenerating. Oh, an average healing him up before he gets killed, and so he will be able to retreat there. Um, and now average uh, 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 okay dagger does come back to get average and save him and so drops just drop 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 here that's kind of what happens here on veil you just try to desperately drop to, to, to try to get something to happen and uh, now it does yeah that was a uh, dagger uh, dropping at that fort but you know it does get blocked very very quickly and that's what happens at these uh, level at these uh, you know higher levels of play where you do see uh, players um, you know, just keeping their eye on the minimap extremely well and uh, just being in the right place at the right time um, Sometimes coincidentally mostly just you know out of intuition And right now Jiao landing way behind um, enemy lines here uh, I don't think he would have been able to grab that that get that generator at all and uh <laughs> <laughs> but he's still really high on health and energy, so he's he's using the cover of this, uh, you know, behind this this fort on Veil very very well. Um, and does cloak away, doesn't move, uh, and uh, okay, doesn't really. <laughs> But uh, yeah, oh, he's going to try to fly away, but really, really low on health. Oh my god, is able to cloak away, but really, okay, too low on health, getting swooped in by Dagger there. And Dagger getting that kill on Giot before he can get away at all. Maybe should have just walked away Cloak to begin with, but, you know, in hindsight, obviously. Um, and right now, Dagger, okay, yeah, it's just no unit support with these harass attacks. And, uh, you know, trying to get a moneymaker or a generator here and there. And random able to finish off Dagger on the ground with those rockets. And let's see the safe boxes. We do have safe boxes. Two safe boxes down here. Oh, man. And I think I saw another one over here as well. One here. So three safe boxes down total for that carbon team. So that is definitely going to pay off later in the game. We don't have any safe boxes on the uh, on the blue team at all. And Jia once again trying to scout around, but not going to be able to finish off that T-45 with his Neo guns before he can, uh, before the T-45 is able to get him. I'm pretty sure either that or be really close, and he probably would have. He probably would die in the retreat. And now getting away. What, how he can and walking away but oh a lot of sh uh, average able to find him on the ground and now a uh, completely low on energy will be finished off here by this blue team oh but dancing very well keeping them busy for now and finally getting killed in the air by dagger oh um, man yeah that was pretty uh, that was pretty cool and total sunday with those oh he has three olympic torches and um lightning contrail that looks pretty cool <laughs> But yeah, okay, so Killer B, um, you know, oh, uh, but if you do take a look at the power, blue team way ahead. I should have noticed this a little earlier, but 264 to 193. Killer B now sending some Goliaths out. Um, I would assume that he's setting these on capture, but he could pretty much set them on attack, and they would pretty much do the same thing. He has two Goliaths in queue. Why aren't you sending them out, buddy? Why aren't you sending out those two Goliaths that you have in queue? You just might as well send out whatever you have right now, and we'll be able to get an abduct on this lunch. Oh, that was a generator. It kind of looked like a lunchbox under him, but we do have these four goalies and one seeker coming out here. Um, I think they are on, on attack. They probably are on attack, but now Jihad here does notice that Dagger coming with some Dillos doesn't set them on any kind of move command, just 
drops them on hold position. But now we do have a pretty large, not a huge, but a pretty large uh, uh, tank push coming for the carbon mid. And they are, and the, the you know the blue team is definitely ahead. Average gonna be killed here. Oh yes, does get killed by random AZN. And uh, Dagger also did get killed by enemy units. And so these Goliaths, uh, most of them, uh, a lot of them have been killed. I think half of them there were, there were four. I really, really would have liked to see Killer B send all the Goliaths that he had, regardless if they were, whether it would have failed or not. I mean, if you sent the push, it's unless you were sending this for a distraction, you were intending them, you know, to actually take this outpost. Um, if he sent them as a distraction, maybe he could have killed some units over here, thinned out the unit. I mean, you know, but but he, they obviously this uh, this push was obviously supported by that blue. Team team so that was obviously meant to try to take this mid away from the carbon team and uh, those two extra glides would definitely have helped in that um, you know in that um toward that purpose and killer be able to grab another goliath wow he might have kind of wanted to go with the safe box probably would have been a good idea and he would have been able to sell that off for significantly more goliath than uh stealing that one and Giant now selling it off. Let's see what he makes. I mean, well, I would assume Goliath's 26,000, so he does make 16,000 in, you know, <laughs> just out of that, uh, out of that Goliath. Or out of that Goliath, out of that safe box, wow. So now we are finally in overtime too. You do hear that death sound. Not death sound, but the forward attack sound. Maybe it should be a different sound to, uh, you know, indicate uh, overtime two. Um, however, it, I guess because the fort is taking health during overtime two, you do hear that sound. And uh, if you do control all the all the outposts on the map, you don't hear the sound because you don't take damage. So I guess it kind of makes sense. Although it would be kind of nice maybe to hear a different sound. Random getting killed on the ground. Killer be getting that final hit. Oh, and Giad did a cloak drop. Let's see what he dropped. He dropped some Dillos that did get finished off really quickly. But blue team a little bit behind on the Ford health. Killer uh, total Sunday trying to hero hog a little bit, but does get finished off in the air by Dagger. Or, yeah, yeah, by Dagger. Okay. Oh, man. Now I can't even read the kill ticker right. But we do have heavy mines coming out by Giad. I guess they, they are kind of anticipating... A, um, a, a, a tank drop or a push, obviously in overtime two stage, especially on this map, that's pretty much one of your only options, except for maybe neutralizing outposts, but Jihad getting finished off in the air by Killer B, that's just not really going to work, but now Average with a Goliath at the back, is this actually penetrating? I don't know, I can't tell, uh, I don't know what's actually, but it does, does get blocked by another Goliath, Average trying to heal it up and keep it alive, but will be chased down by Total Sunday, oh, random Azian actually getting that finish, um, and Total Sunday now able to kill off that last Goliath. Once again, Killer B. Oh, Killer B with a full cube Goliath. Let's see how they decide to go about this. Um, it might just be, you know, the most effective thing. Might just be just dropping, dropping, dropping. Giot really, really quickly intercepted on his way in here by the blue team. Um, uh, so he really wasn't able to do much. I don't know without any units what he was really planning to do, but getting finished off by all those following secret missiles after trying to land and avoid that blue team fire. And Killer B once again with four Goliaths in his queue. Could send everything from this corner. Probably would be the most effective thing. It does have a long way to go to that fort. But, you know, at this point, it's overtime too. And they really, really need to make a move. Um, they are definitely behind on the outposts. Or, well, they are behind a little bit behind on the fort health. Um, Carbon is definitely behind on the outpost. So they need to make something definitely happen. Have they sold off their safe boxes? I think they have. Uh, they were back there. So I would... I, I mean, I think that they do have some units in their in their build queue random trying to fire in with those helix rockets getting a little bit of damage from the air because you can connect from uh, you know to the fort from the air with those helix rockets and right now we do have a, a tank push coming from um coming from the blue team it's just dillos right now and uh i guess this is pretty undefended so this might actually be pretty effective and in the meantime we do have random again trying to fire in with his helix rockets gonna get finished off in the air by those blue units but look at this uh blue dillo push over here by uh by killer b and average they are supporting it fairly well they might be able to neutralize this outpost killer b getting a lot of dps in with that death ray and average uh, i guess shooting in maybe should uh spend the spend his presence on heal right now just to keep those dillos alive just a bit longer but this has been finished off by that carbon team and random once again going for these uh, the fort attack might want to go straight for the front door but getting killed in the air again by i mean he's just repeating it over and over and over again and le i mean is anybody gonna make a move killer b you still have four Goli or five goliaths in your build queue they have four plus 40 power right now and random getting 
doing the exact same thing non-stop, uh, uh, coming back again, uh, just shooting in, just putting in whatever damage you can, getting finished off once again, and now Killer B, come on, man, you have 17,000 credits in your low, in your uh, build, uh, in your bank. Wow. And John, now with two Dillos, actually, this is probably the most effective drop in overtime too so far. Those Dillos were able to penetrate this hole with, with uh, Giot landing. I think Giot landing actually made that hole. These these three Dillos are not prioritizing on the outpost. They were not set on capture. They were just dropped over there. Um, but once again, Killer B, what are you going to do with those Goliaths? Has he started sending them yet? Uh, he does have... Okay, he only has those, okay, one on the ground and the two in the build queue. What did he do with them? What did he do with them? But right now, Total Sunday and um, Dagger fighting out here at this uh, at this top outpost. Total Sunday trying to keep that under his control by dropping defensive infantry. And we do now have uh, Average coming with, let's see, two Dillos. Not going to be able to penetrate that wall for sure. Really, really needs to drop and make a hole just by drawing oh, Dagger getting killed by those enemy units. Might want to spend some credits on respawn at this point because uh, it's really, really getting close. And Total Sunday now going to, oh, drops behind enemy units. Gets a little bit of front door damage and does retreat away before he gets killed. Wow, that was really, really high skill, I would say. That timing is pretty, pretty hard to get. And Random doing the same thing he's been doing over and over and over again. Average dropping with a Goliath here. Still not penetrating and probably will be finished off by this Carbon team. It's really, really close here. Blue team is losing just by a little bit just because Giot was able to get those drops right at the end of the game. Uh, four probes here, not going to really do anything, but those zippers definitely will. If they can prioritize on the outpost, they might actually be able to neutralize it and get blue a little bit more ahead but total sunday firing in not able to get behind those units this time so does get finished off let's see if random is able to actually put in enough damage here to actually swing it in their favor they're still a little bit ahead blue is a little bit behind but with that one outpost advantage blue's might if there if there's no fort ha uh, damage done in the next uh, couple of minutes this it might be down to um that outpost being the difference however i don't know that's dra it's draining pretty much the bleed is pretty much happening at the same uh, rate for both teams so it's probably gonna be a uh, carbon team's game right now Especially with random just going over and over hitting that blue outpost, but right now dagger air, air to ground with that uh, with that warthog able to penetrate a little bit uh, does get finished off. Oh man, it's really 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 close. Let's see if average is able to get this goalie drop. I'm trying to go all the way around the map. Uh, oh man, this is gonna be super close. And we do have total Sunday coming in with a with a with that uh, lightning contrail warthog. Let's see if he's able to get behind that outpost. Not able to get anything fired off. So let's see if average is able to get this goalie right on the front door or find a hole. Oh my god, he found one in the corner and this goalie is gonna be able to finish shot this fort right here on the corner oh man and an average here to heal it up and uh, that oh my god it's, i don't know if that did the difference i don't know if that was enough look at blue team's health it's so close this this carbon team is really really oh my god this is so close total sunday coming in and once again random doing the exact same thing they're going straight for the fort let's see if they're able to get any damage and total sunday lands behind the units but gets barely any attack over and a uh, random firing in as well but it's oh my god blue team is very very close average and killer b desperately trying to get to that orange fort this is so close killer b trying to get to that fort oh my god it's really very close. Let's see if they're able to actually get to it. Come on, Clyde, keep up. Average firing in the front door and able to get this win. So close. Oh my god. <laughs> oh wow. Average landing behind the units, behind those glides there. And able to fit, just shoot right at the front door and that double damage did make the difference. Holy crap. Killer B, Average, and Dagger88 taking this like hairline victory over the carbon team total sunday random asia 999 and giot oh my voice is shot all right guys so <laughs> if you have any replays to send to me send me in at rui 0 at gmail.com or rui at steam uh, check my video description. Also check my video description to see Uncharted's art gallery because he has, if you guys haven't noticed, made new artwork for my channel, uh, my channel banner, which is freaking awesome. Oh my god, that is so loud. I'm going to turn that down just a little bit. But yeah, his channel, uh, the, the channel art on my channel right now, that is by Uncharted. My new avatar is also by Uncharted, so please give him a, uh, you know, a good job and congratulations. He definitely, um, uh, definitely needs to be recognized for his amazing work and his amazing artwork that I will link in my video description. So do check that out. Drop a, drop a comment and say, uh, you know, let Uncharted know uh, what you think of his artwork. All right, guys, this is RUI, and that is game. See you next time.